Okay, hi everybody, it's me, Bonkai922, and it's time for Parasite, episode 16. Uh, after last week's episode where Sanichi got cocky, and he was a jam, big jam. Um, well, pretty much, this episode was kind of interesting. Um, first half, pretty much, was the fight with Sanichi. And this parasite. Oh, by the way, it wasn't three parasites apparently in his body. Five. And basically, um, the guy basically there were, there were these two parasites. Both of them are with that group of other parasites, and one of them is the one we saw from the last episode. Well, apparently, when they go in the woods and they attempt Migi and. Shinichi attempt to cut the guy's head off. They do. But there's a problem. There's another parasite. And he basically just takes his arm, puts it on his hole, and he creates another head. And this other guy is, I believe, the guy who's playing the piano? I don't know, sir. So, logistically, that's what it is. And this guy who has taken over the body, who is now in control, this parasite, he's a lot faster. And what ends on happening is he gets G-checked. Well, in, in, a, in a sense, he gets G-checked by a truck, thanks to Miki. But I think that is part of the episode. That, that That's what made this episode really good. But also something else. Remember that P.I. detective? Yeah, they blew up his office, apparently, the parasites. And they kind of killed his mother, his, his wife and daughter. That's bad news. So, that happened. And I'm like, damn, that's just fucked up. No, no doubt about it. And the guy who's chasing Shinichi, he, he got away, Shinichi. And he basically is telling his father... To leave the house, get out, and just leave the house because they're hunting him, and they'll probably hunt his father now, and Morano to some extent. But the real story here is the PI's family got killed by them, and <clears throat> something else. Reiko, Marioka. I'm gonna call it, her name's Reiko, I believe. They they call it Reiko now. She apparently isn't welcomed with the other parasites because they say her she changed so essentially what's interesting about this show now is that you have two characters you have Shinichi and you have Reiko Shinichi is becoming more like a parasite and Reiko's becoming more human like she's taking care of her baby and all that other jazz now, obviously, towards the end of the episode, which I found very interesting, the P.I. was stalking her. He wants to avenge his family. Essentially. Because it was, essentially, it was her that got him involved. It was her. So to speak. But what happens is, the guy who is at the meeting with her, Mako, she's like, he's saying, Oh, she's not like us anymore. She's dangerous to us. You know, and basically we have like a three on one thing happening against Reiko. The other three and this other guy who's being a douche pretty much gang up on her. Not in that way. Uh and that's where the episode ends. Now, I thought it was interesting, you know, we had the fight with, with Sinichi and Sinichi was actually running away. Migi was able to save him. They were able to survive another day. Um from the preview for next week, it seems like there's a confrontation between Reiko and the detective. And it says, Adventure of a... The, the Adventure of the Dying Detective, or something like that. So, I'm guessing the detective might die or something? Because he's got a baby in his head. I think that's Reiko's baby. So, he's trying to, like... Yeah. But, I thought it was a good episode. We got some interesting things happening with the parasites. We got an interesting fight. 
also we gotta wonder what's gonna happen with Murano. You know, is she gonna be okay? Because I heard in the J room that some shit is supposed to go down, like big time shit's supposed to go down in the next couple of episodes. If that makes any sense. But it's supposed to be really intense. Like, holy shit. Didn't see that coming. Did you? So, should be interesting. But overall, um, good episode. Overall rating, I thought it was interesting. The beginning, especially with the fight. I gave, I gave it a four and a half. Four and a half out of five. Um, I especially like to see what's going to go happen. What's going to go down with Rico. What she's going to be like now from now on. She'll become more and more human. Then maybe maybe she'll appreciate Shinichi more. And she'll kill less humans. Though I don't doubt that. I doubt that. But well, we'll see. It should be interesting. I'm definitely digging Parasite now. It seems to have blossomed into something more than I expected. But um, yeah, that's pretty much the story. And I'm guessing... I guess they're going to go after Murano eventually, and his father, Sinichi's father, but at the moment, it doesn't seem to be that case. We'll see what happens next week. should be interesting. Um, I have a feeling, though, I think the detective's going to die. I really think he's going to die, um, by the way it looks. I mean, he's lost everything, so what's he's got? He's got nothing else to lose except his life, so, you know. But pretty good episode of Parasite. Turns you guys think in the comment section below. Um, do not worry. The discussion video I said last night in my Torical live stream, and it will happen. Preferably tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. That's definitely gonna happen tomorrow night. I mean, tomorrow's probably I guess the Bleach One Piece, and I can just, I'll try to nail both of them out. Look at these split, and I'll uh, do that discussion video. It's an interesting discussion video that, frankly, I think has merit. It's an interesting question to ask about a certain series. So yeah, I'm Bob Kato 2. See you guys later. That guy got G-checked by me. Well, he got G-checked by truck. A <laughs> truck. But Miggy's like, I got the wheel. Get G-checked. Damn. I'll see you guys later.